What's up guys, this is Sam, and today I want to show you the phone case that I've been using on my iPhone 8 for around the past week or so. It is the Rhino Shield mod case. They sponsored this video because I actually reached out to them this year and asked if they would be willing to send me some of their new cases, and they did, and they're absolutely incredible. So in general, I'm really not that big of a case person, but I found myself, especially with the iPhone 8, wanting to use a case more because if you take a look at the iPhone 8, it has a glass front and a glass back now. It's not like the iPhone 7 or the 6S or the six before that. It's like the fear mentality. Every time I pick my phone up off the charger in the morning, I think to myself, am I going to be doing anything today that would make this phone break, where it would fall out of my pocket or slip out of my hands? Because replacing these glass-backed phones is so much more expensive. Not only do you have to fix the screen in a lot of cases, but you have to pay this additional fee to fix the entire back of the phone. Usually you have to go through Apple, and it's really expensive. So I've noticed myself this year in particular really wanting to use a case. And I've been using the Rhino Shield mod case, and it's super cool for a couple of reasons. Number one, it is modular. So you can use it in two different ways. One, you can use it with the frame and a back plate, or you can use it with the frame and the rim attachment that'll make it just exclusively a bumper case for your iPhone. I really love cases that are styled like this because I'm not a case guy in general, but when I have to use one, I don't want something bulky or thick or hefty. I want something that's super lightweight. It's going to offer a lot of protection while staying out of the way at the same time. And for me, that's exactly what the Rhino Shield mod case is. It's really easy to disassemble and reassemble or take apart and put back together. If you want to switch out the rim for the back plate or the back plate for the rim, you just have to line it up with the little grooves inside. The honeycomb hexagonal design is there so that when you drop your phone, all of the shock from the impact goes through the case, through this honeycomb design, rather than going through your phone because that's what causes the screen or the back plate to break in the first place. Personally, I plan to use the Rhino Shield case in its bumper form, but if you add the back plate, you get so much more customization because you can change it out not only with the clear back plate that comes in the box, but you can order tons of others off of Rhino Shield's website, and the biggest change is you have the ability to attach lenses to the back of the phone. When I usually think about modularity and when I saw these lenses for the first time, I thought that putting them on the case and taking them off would be really challenging, it'd be time consuming, and the lenses would be extremely fragile. But this time, that was not the case. See what I did there? This is the case review? I'm sorry. Anyway, when you do put the lenses on the phone, it's super simple. You take it out of the packaging, you can screw it on after you take the back lens cap off. These are actually really premium feeling lenses. They seem really well made. Screw it on the case really easily. I've never had an issue where it wouldn't screw in or I would strip the screwing. It just screws on really easily. And then once the lens is attached to your phone, you can take off the front facing lens cap. I will say that during this process, trying to take the lens caps on and off was sort of finicky, and I felt like I was going to break the part of the phone case where I was attaching this or even the lens at some point, but it was fine, nothing got scratched, and everything is perfectly fine. So these seem really durable, which is great. And then you get to start taking pictures. There are four different lenses available right now. The first is a 06 times zoom HD wide angle lens. There's a fisheye lens, which looks really crazy, but I also think it looks really cool at the same time. A two-in-one add-on lens, which is the macro plus 0.65 zoom wide angle lens. It's sort of a dual function. You can get really close to things, but normal shots are also wider than the normal iPhone camera. And finally, there's a super wide angle lens. It adds a fisheye type effect when you look at the resulting photos taken with this lens. I'm not a huge fan of the curvature, so the super wide angle lens was not my favorite. If I had to choose one, I love the macro shot. And the fisheye was also kind of funky because you get a circular looking frame around the photo that looks like you are looking through a fish's eye. So if you like that effect, you'll probably love that lens. I don't like the distortion that comes with some of these wide angle lenses, but the 06 times zoom HD wide angle lens is able to capture a pretty wide angle without adding much distortion at all. It's a lens that I could actually see myself using. Overall, I'm just a really big fan of this Rhino Shield mod case. It's a step up from the Crash Guard bumper case that I reviewed last year, and I really like everything about it. I like that I can wear a backplate one day and not wear it the next. I like that I can just use it as a bumper. I like that I can add special lenses on the back if I want to take these artsy and crafty photos and take pictures that I couldn't take before with the iPhone camera. It's really cool, it's a great concept, and I love modularity. It's something that I really hope we start to see more more of in the future. If you're interested in picking one of these mod cases up, I'll leave a link down below in the description. There is so much you can customize with them. They start at about $30, $35 for the base model, but you can add an extra rim or extra buttons or even get customizable and different looking back plates. There's so much you can change here and all of the camera lenses are an additional charge, so none of those come with the actual case, but they are available for purchase if you're interested. If you enjoyed watching this video, as always, it helps me out if you take a second to drop a like down below, and of course, hit subscribe for more reviews like this in the future. I've been Sam, I hope you're doing great, and I'll talk to you in my next video.